Um, Helium Health is a healthcare technology company and our mission is to accelerate Africa's healthcare using data and technology. Um, we have a suite of technology products that serve providers, payers, patients and governments um, across the healthcare value chain. So, you know, I'll leave my co-founders to save their own journey when they're interviewed, but my personal journey with Helium Health, um, I used to work at the Legal State AIDS Control Agency, and for those that don't know, it's HIV AIDS prevention for Legal State. And one of our very important jobs was data validation, in which we would go around to the different general hospitals, go through all their you know, client intake forms, ensure that the numbers aligned with their monthly summary forms and then their registers. And in short, we're just trying to make sure that the number of HIV positive people they were reporting monthly to the local governments actually lined up and they were accurate. So we would be in the month of July trying to validate data for February, going through you know hundreds of paper records. And I thought it was the craziest thing that imagine if there was some kind of solution that went end to end at this hospital that allowed you to be able to get this data in real time. So when I left that job, um, you know my co-founders and I that we've known each other for forever, we all have passions for wanting to be able to use technology to solve different problems and we had a very strong belief that you know we always complain about different things in Nigeria however you will find that you're always complaining why don't we do something so the healthcare challenge was the one we wanted to you know take on board and what we initially wanted to do we thought we said what if we managed to get all these different healthcare data sources put them together onto a platform and ensure that whoever needed healthcare data whether it was hospitals whether it was patients governments donor agencies could just log onto this platform easily and get the data that they needed to drive healthcare for um, unfortunately we soon quickly realized that there were no real-time accurate data sources we even pulled together in the first place and he said, okay, how do we get this data? Right, we're gonna go to the very beginning and anybody that knows anything about healthcare, the only way you can get that information is through an electronic medical records platform that goes through your hospitals. And that was the birth of Helium Health where we launched our very first product, which was our EMR, electronic medical records platform. So in raising our single fund, I think that the first thing that was very clear was that there's, <laughs> there's money out there if you know what you're doing. Um, and I think that, you know, coming from Nigeria and, you know, even if you want 10 Naira, your proposal should be like this big, right? Um, and knowing and getting into Y Combinator and going then to a different world where there were investors that were willing to just try you out. They were willing to take a gamble on you. Um, we had a number of investors that they didn't know anything about the African market. Um, they didn't know anything about healthcare, but they liked my co-founders and I. They believed that we would be able to scale and grow the business um, just based on our passion. I think that the most interesting, um, you know, investor meeting we had, it was in a coffee shop. We sat down. We all bought our laptops out to show the slide we had presented and then Gokei wanted to show the product as well and you know the investor was like no you guys relax it's okay you know close your laptops let's just talk and it was a 40 minute conversation and by the end of it he goes yeah I think I'm going to invest $500,000 in you guys and we, <laughs> we all just sort of took a step back and we're like whoa okay this just got real. And, you know, that was really exciting that people really wanted to believe in us and believe in our company. So, yeah, that was such a huge boost of our confidence um, for what we were trying to do. So hostels in Nigeria are so unique um, because you would see that the majority of hospitals are actually run by doctors. Whereas if you go to other markets, they're not run by doctors. They're run by people with MBAs and business majors um, because they actually structure the hospitals as a business. 
So combined with, of course, doctors' passion and their, them, you know, saying the Hippocratic oath and swearing to them, wanting to heal people first, it's very difficult for them to be able to sometimes structure their hospitals as core businesses. Um, so what we do with our electronic medical records platform is that we allow them to be able to use this technology to digitize their process flows end to end and it then in turn gives them the data and information they need to be able to scale up and be able to become better organizations. So even just as simply as you know when a patient walks in and instead of them waiting 30, 45 minutes to get their patient records, um, that process is immediately deleted because all you have to do is just type in their name and their record is pulled up. That simple solution allows you to be able to see more patients in the day um, and in turn increasing your revenue. So another product that we have is Helium Health is our Helium Credit. So only about a third of Nigerian facilities have actually access outside funding um, to be able to grow and expand. So what Helium Credit does is that we offer instant loans to these facilities to allow them to be able to grow and scale in the way that they want to. Um, and we do this because we're able to understand their revenue, we're able to understand what services they offer. So for example, if a facility wants to invest in a mammogram, but you know, minority of their patients are women, that doesn't make any sense to be able to invest in that and get a loan for that. However, what other equipment can you invest in that will feed the population of the people coming into your facility. So that's one product. Um, another product as well that we have is our, uh, is our um, emergency response solution. So in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, how do we help different state governments be able to you know, digitize their workflows and ensure that all the different process pillars that are part of the response are able to get the information that they need and are interconnected. Um, to help with disease surveillance. So right now with the Nigerian healthcare system, we have a very reactive healthcare system. That means that, you know, after you get ill, you know, people typically, maybe they go to the pharmacy, get medication, that doesn't work. They pray, they go to their church, or they go to their imam or their mosque, that doesn't work, and then they finally now go to the hospital, right, to try and get better. Um, so what hospitals actually need to do is that they need to encourage patients to take control of their health. They need to encourage patients to do their yearly checkups. And one of the products that we offer is the personal health record. So this means that if you're a patient that goes to any of the Helium hospitals, you're able to get what are your immunizations, what your lab results straight from your smartphone. Again, the hospital as well is able to send you reminders and say, oh, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you know, have you been screened? That way you are constantly having the general population think about healthcare and you're in turn changing behavior. Um, and this will help the hospitals to grow because you're driving um, you know, more people um, into these hospitals. So it's interesting because I don't know the point in which we went from four hospitals to 300 signed facilities. Um, I don't know. Um, and it almost seems like a dream because I can remember in 2017 when my co-founders and I would try and get hospitals, what we would do is that we would type in hospital into Google Maps, we would get into this tiny car, I think it was a Picanto, and we would drive around and as soon as we get to the hospital, you can imagine these like, you know, young kids and everything, we'd get there and we'd say, oh, we'd like to see the MD, that we have, you know, a healthcare partnership proposal that we want to share. And, People normally think that that means that you must give them money for healthcare, right? Because of the amount of donor agencies we have here in Nigeria. So we get there and we just literally pitch our lives away. Um, something that really stood out for us as Helium Health was our, how great our product was. So our amazing you know, UI, UX, user experience. Not only that, how dedicated we were to be able to provide you with the best customer support and technical support possible. I mean, you can still call us at any time and it doesn't matter where you are and somebody can actually be at your facility and actually answer your problems and be able to solve them as quickly as possible. Um, 
And through that, because people love great customer service, we were, be, we were able to scale and grow through word of mouth. And you know, anybody that knows anything about the doctors community, um, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa, it's like it's almost like a cabal in itself. So you know, you get one you know top doctor talking about you in top facility, then they're gonna go and spread it to the next and the next. And we were able to grow successfully through word of mouth. So one of the interesting things that we as a health tech company, we are so careful about, you know, anything that we do with patient safety. In fact, there's no way we can even identify anybody. Um, even with our solution, we make sure that everybody has different access levels. So if you're at the front desk and you're not meant to see diagnosis of patients, you know, you won't be permitted to see that. And we basically tailor that to each hospital and their process flows. So we take data security very seriously as a company and apply as well by all the local data privacy laws. Hi, my name is Tisa Ovia and I'm one of the co-founders of Helium Health and you're watching Tech Talks on Guardian TV.